Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine.
Right. I stashed the... <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. I think I'm ready to go now. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Hey, I need to bring this with me to Juno. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Oh, I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. I could look at this artwork all day. Pfft. I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Bye, Herbert. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer.
Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi's a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. Are we planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Really, I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. 
I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're gonna have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I meant we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty. Don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie. Or even... uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. Did 
Did you hear that? like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Yep, we didn't die in a fiery crash. How are you? It's so weird being back on this boat. Yeah, the drive took longer than I thought. We're on the ferry right now. Uh huh. I know. I know. Yeah. Ain't she? If you say so. I know some folks think an odd six is old and boring, but I've dropped moose from the thump with this one for years. You hunt? I fish, mostly. No shame in that. Anyway. You'll find there's lots of good fishing spots around here, if you know what to look for. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clay kid, I know. I haven't been home in five years. Ah, my sister's planning to move to Juno. Good for her. Most folks I know never tried living anywhere else. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for a related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think so. <laughs> Guess not. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Damn, I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing it for real is wild. Yeah, it was terrible. You could say- Hey, didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no, that was on the lake. Oh, uh- Cannery's still going strong, huh? Not sure what people would do around here if it weren't. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Tyler, we're almost 
army. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, 
so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old- I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. It's a little early to try to cross the lake. I know it looks totally frozen, but there are probably thin patches. Hey, the dangerous part of the fun. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. Oh, looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. I can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah. You need a break already, Ronan? No, just sitting. Enjoying the view. Seriously, how are you feeling? Tired. I didn't sleep much last night. Yeah, I can't believe how we used to run around for hours without stopping. Yeah, always a troll to run away from, or a treasure to find. We definitely never lacked imagination. Marianne didn't either. It was the one thing that brought us all together, even in the end. She told a new story, didn't she? That night, it was weird. She built this bench, right? If you're trying to scare me off so you can steal my seat, it won't work. No, I just remember us all sitting here after. I fell asleep and woke up really stiff later. I don't remember us sitting anywhere for more than a few seconds, which sounds exhausting now. Guess we're just old. At least we've got a few more years before we're... As old as her. Come on, that's enough rest for us. Let's get inside. All right. No way. I can't believe it's still- Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? Nope. It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. No, you're right.
At least we don't seem to have any... At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Um, no beavers. Too bad. A picture of him would have helped with the sale. Yeah, city people love cute furry animals. Teeming with wildlife, but not the kind that he- I still can't believe I convinced you to climb that raggedy ash tree with me. Yeah, not happening a second time. Oh, come on. I was the one who fell out. And then I had to walk all the way to Delos Crossing to get Tessa to drive you to the hospital. I was fine. You had a concussion. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought the mad hunter had stolen them? Aw, uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. How many sand castles did we build with this? None that survived. Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? What? Oh, yeah. I think you're right. We thought this sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter, remember? That's right. The sand was, what, supposed to distort his piercing eye? Ah, the Mad Hunter. That was some dark shit for two little kids. Yeah, that's why- Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. This forest is so cool, like some elven kingdom. Our hidden domain, far away from the stress of the modern world. So was fireweed, in its own way. I didn't have to deal with pumping gas, and buying groceries, paying rent. Is my brother feeling a little unprepared? <laughs> Things were so simple when we were kids. The house, the lake, the woods. It was all right. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. She did not like us using her tools. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um, I'm feeling something strange. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa. Did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Coming, I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see.
I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So, which one of you is hiding the key, hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. left this box here. It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Not getting in this way. There are other ways inside. Come on. These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Ouch! Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty, I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I, I, Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. again after the goblins. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's 
been a long time, buddy. was on the right. My bad. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. But we were the mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to be trying to show us. Let's see, broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine, broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil, energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change, huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. There were so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, what would little Tyler think if he walked in here right now and saw me? Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. We were lab rats. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, 
It ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short. Really short. What? Look, I'm tired! And I'm busy! Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever- I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. My big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. Oh, Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? I'm tired of her mess. Let's dig into ours. Right. Guess it's time to mainline nostalgia. Where'd you come from? Now this, this feels like home. Copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over- So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah. I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that- All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace.
Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, this one wasn't mine. finally caught the hag, his furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave, not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! 